<laughs> Interestingly, the idea for Strata happened during a meeting where we're talking about something totally different and we just had this haha moment. I don't know, the things connected and we just said Strata. Strata Library is the first library of sound effects that's been designed from the ground up to be uh, produced and distributed in multi-track format. And by that we mean providing all the tracks, all the clips edits, all the effects, so it's full flexibility at your fingertips, basically. Strata is cake and the ingredients put together via Master Chef, prepped, ready for you to bake. So you can play with the ingredients, recombine them in different rounds, and produce a completely different cake as opposed to existing libraries which are the cake. It really takes away a lot of work that is not fun and not repeating the same kind of boring steps in editing and cropping and you know all these things that are not very creative. You have more time and more energy to then start working on the creative sound design which is what I think all sound designers are most interested in. Audio Kinetic has always considered providing content to, to its users, but we didn't want to do exactly the same thing that all the other content providers are doing out there. How can we improve productivity, enabling our users to be better artists and be able to produce more content in less time? For us, as a software company, it was quite obvious that we would do that project in partnership with an established content provider out there. It's a typical games industry story, I guess. Throughout all the years, we've been going to GDC or you know some other shows, and we always met people from Autokinetic. We noticed that there is a common ground and that there's also a big potential because we have all that content and Autokinetic has all the tech. All of a sudden, we had you know all the parts that we needed came together. We just put all the cars on the table, everything was clear, and we just said, okay, let's do that project together. The number one concern that I had in terms of how would they receive that idea was sharing their content, sharing the multi-track, sharing their know-how and their IP, basically. We don't really believe in trade secrets. Um, the whole idea of Boom Library when we started was to be the first ones to offer source recordings. But we've been asked about, hey, how do you do your design, your final design, how do you do that? And that is something that we couldn't share so far. And now we finally came up with something, together with Audiokinetic, that gives us the chance to um, share this, and then um, there is new, unique, and individual sound design coming out of it. In, in interactive media, quite a lot of your sounds, the end user is experiencing thousands of times and you want to immerse them in a more realistic environment. So in sound design for video games, we're having to produce sounds that are different every time they're played. So for example, for footsteps, um, we have 48 projects. We have seven different actions per footstep category, so per shoe or on a generic surface, and then 16 variations per action, per shoe, per surface. That totals up to 9,888 sounds if you render them, and that's a lot more source sounds even in the projects because you have uh, different microphone perspectives, and um, that's stuff we don't render with it. So that's, uh, I think, quite a lot. That's something that is common in the AAA in side of the industry, but is beyond the, the budgets of small, uh, smaller game designs. So we're able to give people the opportunity to produce AAA quality audio without a AAA budget. So we're working with Reaper, and Reaper has a lot of things going for it. It's super flexible. First, it's scriptable. It's also the DA that is uh, more and more adopted in the interactive world, and it's it's not it's cheap. It's really not expensive. So so for us, it was just the best DA out there to to produce that content. When we started that project, we were a bit naive with the approach, thinking that oh, they probably have their their multi-track projects already, we can just reuse that and package it. But that was, it's not what Strata is. We've done a lot of tidying up. We've made all of the Reaper sessions be structured very similarly, with every sound named accordingly, every track named sensibly. So we're using the universal category system to name all of the files. And we've produced a system that allows you to automatically name your rendered files 
very easily with less opportunity for human error. If there are any difficulties, I think we run into all of them. So we had the whole COVID situation, of course, making recordings, uh, the planning of recordings really, really difficult. We completely underestimated the workload. Also, of course, once we started, we had like internal feature requests from our own team because we wanted to improve uh, stuff. Yeah, that was challenging because we are not that many people and um, it is a quite a big project. Any sound designers in, from the linear world will also benefit from Strata Library, just because so many times when you're, you're fetching for, for sounds, for sources, and you get a sound that is almost perfect, but there's this little thing ringing, or this, this little artifact that you don't like, or you, you're mainly fixing the sound that you're getting instead of just isolating the parts that you actually need and removing what is not right. We use Strata since the first module was done. And that's always a very good sign because if we need it on our side, you know, as pros in the game sound design world, then usually other people will need it as well.